So I think one of our most important developments has actually been in how we use data. Um, so uh, thinking longer term, um, kind of longitudinally, following, for example, students or individuals who um, receive public services and trying to understand the impact of their of those services or benefits that they've received over a longer period, kind of shifting from just thinking about, uh, well, is you know is that student making grade to things like, well, does this intervention actually promote their completion of of secondary school and advancement beyond that? So I feel like that's been, it's not a tool or instrument, but it's an advance in how we use some of our existing tools, like things we might do, like performance-based contracting. Um, so thinking about not contracting, as I said, just on short-term things, but on longer-term outcomes. And I feel like that's an important advance because there isn't necessarily a direct association from things that happen in the immediate term and things that happen in the longer term. And so it's important for us to be more effectively using our, our resources to understand not just what happens immediately, but later as a possible benefit of investments in individuals.